All right, let me go fix this. Why is this not working? Hold on, let me see what's going on here. Perfect. Let me get this. Well, 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 I'm back with a weird reaction, but it's to, it's, uh, it's, it's Harvey Life. I'll put their uh, description down below, but it's uh, Pete Davidson. We are responding to Ariana Grande, a big shot romance of the breakup. Why is he reacting to this where you broke her with her because you didn't care? This is my problem with some of these people. Um, I'll let you know. I'm going to react to it, but I'm going to tell you my little two cents of it because I, I just don't like this dude. I don't like him at all. Let's react to it. Ariana Grande is taking her ex on tour with her. Fans go crazy with theories after her track list is released. Plus, Pete Davidson talks about Big Sean's dong, dong, dong. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life. Starting with Pete Davidson, during a stand-up Tuesday night in New York City, the comedian brought up Ariana Grande, writing huge in her burn book during the Thank You Next music video. And even though the word was on the page with Pete's name, Davidson joked, that Ariana was actually talking about her other ex-boyfriend, Big Sean. Pete said that after he and his friends listened to Thank You Next, he asked who taught her how to take that D, though, to which one of his friends replied, Big Sean. Why that was so important for him to bring up, I don't know. But speaking of Big Sean, fans are theorizing her song, Break Up With Your Girlfriend. Listen, if she gets back with him, I rob him than fucking... Pete Davidson, because Pete Davidson, man, he's a mess because he did some disrespectful stuff to her last month. And I'll let you know after this, you know, because I, I can't stand this guy. This guy, he needs to worry about his own career and stop worrying about somebody else's stop. Stop with the mess, man. He, he He's messy. He's messy. I'm bored will be about him. Sean is currently the only one of her exes that has a girlfriend. And in the video, Thank You Next, mm. Ari wrote that Big Sean could still get it in her burn book. Fans also have their theories about the track NASA, saying that it will be about Pete Davidson because of his NASA sweater. However, the track Ghostin needs no theories at all because the pop singer revealed on Twitter the song is about feeling badly for the person you're with because you love somebody else. Feeling badly because he can tell he can't compare and how I should be ghosting him. But okay, let's talk about Ari's tour because it seems like she might be taking her ex along with her. It's no secret that Ricky Alvarez has been photographing Ari lately as he's posted a shoot featuring her to both of his Instagram accounts. But he might be the official photographer for her tour too. Ricky posted a picture from the Seven Rings party and Ari... Oh, that looks nice. I mean, if it happens... I'm praying that it happens, but we'll see. You never know. You know, I'm just praying. Commented, the best team see all on tour. Ooh. The comment included emojis of a video and photo camera. And since she has already denied dating Ricky again, this could possibly just be a creative partnership for the two ex-lovers. Let's hope the album has some details on their newfound closeness. But all right, guys, hit the sub like and bell button. Comment which song you're most excited to hear on February 8th. And check out our Hollywood Life Beauty Box. The link is down below. Well, um, I'm going to tell you about this uh, video. Well... I don't know why Pete Davidson is commenting on Ariana Grande where she's trying to move on and he keeps talking about her. So um, last, I think it was last month, um, Kanye West and Drake had this little, I mean, actually it was Kanye West. He was saying, oh my God, Drake is threatening me. So, okay. Drake was like laughing emoji, something like that. Basically, you know, basically shooing him off. Ariana Grande commented in that between the two, and she and, and Ariana Grande had new music coming out, and she was like, "Can y'all guys stop arguing?" Where, in my opinion, it wasn't Drake; it was Kanye arguing over some bullshit. It was, and then um, Kanye disrespectful, disrespectful ass. Oh, actually, no. Before that, Kim Kardashian was saying. Oh, Drake, stop threatening my husband. He made you. 
Okay, and you know why is she commenting her part? Then the next thing, um, Kanye went after Ariana over that tweet, which was not that serious. He was saying, stop commenting all this other stuff. And I'm like, girl, like, dude, you went hard after this guy. I mean, I mean, after Ariana, but you couldn't do it to Drake. What the hell is wrong with you, man? And then she apologized, which I don't, I don't agree with. She shouldn't apologize. She did nothing wrong. He was in his feelings for no reason. And then Pete Davidson had the nerve to say suicide, which I don't want people to talk about suicide. But the thing is that he had to put his two cents in after that, which I hate when somebody does that for attention. I don't think he did for attention, but then why would you mention suicide after Kanye was dragging her? And then Nicki Minaj was on his side. And I'm like, yo, dude, come on. Why would you put your two cents in somebody else's conversation? You, he went like if somebody would have did that to him. Like, that's disrespectful. And then I think, in, in, in goddamn Zoe's video, Ariana wanted to see him because he was he supposedly wasn't feeling good, and he rejected her. I'm like, why would you say you're going to kill yourself, but then reject no from somebody that used to be with you, even though you're not together? That tells me that he did that shit out of attention. If you didn't do it out of attention... Why did you reject her when she said when you when she wanted to go see you? Like, come on, something sounds suspect when he commented under Kanye West for something very BS. I'm, I just don't like that. I don't like when people come after one person. He had all that energy for Ariana, but not for Drake. I'm kind of confused. For, that's why I said I can't do Kanye West music because it's just too freaking much. Like he Kanye West needs some help. He needs to go make some good music instead of worry about Drake. He needs to keep Drake out of his damn mouth. He needs to worry about making music. Okay? So, that's it for this video. If you like, comment, subscribe for more. We'll talk later. Peace.